let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance don't make it like a stagnant pool combi pack for the design of eccentric isolated footing by excel part 3 hello everybody i'm ps strategy with you today i'm i'm congratulating all of my subscribers who helped me to touch the first milestone of 1k today i am going to discuss on footing type biaxial eccentric footing for the main structure and uniaxial and biaxial extreme footing for boundary walls please like share and subscribe my channel before start of the lecture on eccentric footing i must have to say that Footing with extreme eccentricity is theoretically possible for the footing under the main structure of a building, but it will be impractical. So we have to restrict the use of extreme eccentric footing to less important structures such as a boundary wall, etc. Now I am switching over to Excel spreadsheet for the numerical calculation. Welcome to my Excel spreadsheet. As usual, this is our column load. Start with concentric footing. I have provided here LX is equal to 1.6, LZ is equal to 1.5. If we put here 1.5, design is not okay. Then we have to put once again 1.55, design is not okay. 1.55 design is okay square footing 1.55 by 1.55 now i'm going to switch over to eccentric footing with eccentricity in both x and z direction say ez plus i'm putting here 0.4 Point four. This area is not sufficient. We have to change the area first. Two by two, not okay. Two point five by two point five. Not okay. Minimum reaction still not okay because effective P minimum minus twenty two point four eight one. Here we can increase unit weight of concrete twenty five unit weight of soil twenty. Now. Two point six, two point six, not okay. With a depth two, one point eight, not okay. One second, two point eight, not okay. 2.7. Now, area required is okay, but our design also okay. Now, now changing it, eccentricity. X minus. Ex minus and Z plus. Design is okay. Both. Now we have to change this. Design is okay. Plus, minus. We have to change this. Design is okay. Now I'm switching over. Extreme eccentricity in both direction.
for extreme eccentricity this load case this load will not be valid say unit weight of brick 20 kN per meter cube brick wall thickness 250 brick wall height 2 meters column center to center distance 3.5 meter total weight 35 kN so I'm putting here P5 kN all these things are zero 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 now copy this thing paste special value now say it is 30 say it is 40 second load case and this is also zero 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 now we have to change here Here we need not to change the eccentricity, it will automatically generate according to the size. Design 2 meter by 2 meter, not okay. 2 .2, 2.2 2.2 design is okay now i'm changing to this direction ex minus z minus okay now if we change this to 1.5 design is not okay 1.6 design is not okay 1.7 design is not okay 1.8 okay so depth of the foundation will be 1.8 meter in other way if you want to keep the depth fixed that is 1.5 meters around then we have to change two point three two point three two point four two point four now it is okay now if we can reduce the depth if we reduce the depth here point two design is not okay point three design is okay point three design is okay now i'm reducing the dia of the bar 12 design is not okay 100 okay 12 not okay 100 okay we have to provide the reinforcement in both directions 12 to 100 center to center. Now everything is okay. And this is all about my combi pack for the design of eccentric footing part three. I hope you enjoyed it. My next video will be on tier design. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also evaluate my performance with your valuable like, share, and comment. Thank you.